Cass stood at the top of the stairs, staring down into the darkness beyond. The dearth of windows ahead cast the lower floor in deep shadow. The smell of spoiled meat intensified as Lance stepped beside her. Why do I get the feeling that we shouldn't go down there? Cass said, No shit. Lance's stomach rumbled in spite of the horrific smell wafting from up the stairs. He hadn't eaten since the day before. I'm damn hungry, but not enough for this. You aren't going to get an argument from me. Let's get... The sound of something scraping the floor came to them then. Lance's breath caught in his throat, his abs clenched. A thump, closer and louder. Cass's fingers blanched as she squeezed the handle of the axe. Rapid exhalations from below. Two thuds, closer. Lance stepped back, wanting to flee but unable to peel his gaze from the darkness ahead. A face, distorted and gray, pierced the black at the bottom of the stairs. Empty eye sockets oozed. Thinned hair draped over its scalp, the bottoms of the strands touching pointed, elongated ears. Grotesque veins snaked through the forehead and cheeks. Thickened bone structure made the jaw and eyebrows protrude. The Vladdy's mouth opened, exposing canines that extended unnaturally below the other teeth. It wailed at them, the sound threatening to pop their eardrums. Spittle flew from its mouth, splattering on the steps underneath it. Cass stumbled backward, bumping into Lance, nearly knocking him over. Two forearms, muscles swollen and striated, appeared from the shadow. Its fists slammed against the stairs, shaking the floor in a show of rage and frustration. A series of shrieks answered from the basement below, filling the church with the wails of the infected. Lance spun on his damaged foot, grabbing Cass's shoulder as he turned and ran. His feet barely touched the carpeted floor as he sprinted down the hallway. Cass shouted for him to move faster. They burst into the chapel, not slowing as they flew past the pews, heading for the large front doors. More songs from the hungry below reverberated through the floor, filling Lance with a panic he hadn't known since he'd left the hospital. Cass reached the doors first, grabbing an iron ring in the middle and heaving it open. The wood swung around, bouncing off the inside wall of the foyer, breaking through drywall. Lance lunged through the doorway, not willing to risk looking back until he felt the rays of the sun on his shoulders. He stumbled down the stairs, inhuman shrieks chasing him from the church. He spun around, eyes glued to the open doorway as Cass huffed beside him. My God, is that what they look like now? He felt something touch his leg and he looked down, seeing his hand shake with such force that the machete tapped against his quadriceps. Images of the progression of those poor people's mutation flashed through his mind like a flipbook. In little more than a week, the entire structure of their bodies had transformed. That's the first one of the Nightwalkers I've seen lately. Cass said, her voice hushed as if they might hear her. It looked more like a gorilla from hell than a human. What chance does mankind have against that? I, a scream, only partly human, rang out from behind them. Lance noticed their surroundings for the first time since escaping the church. He hadn't paid attention to much in his panic. Over a hundred of the Vladdies filled the parking lot by the office building. More stumbled down the street on either side of Lance and Cass. Some were fresher, more confused. Others moved with smooth strides, their bodies already twisted and vascular. Oh, shit, Lance looked back at the church. Now what? Now we're in deep shit, Cass said, lowering her axe to his side. I guess the gunfire from the helicopter drew them in. Fear sapped Lance's strength, rational thought becoming a challenge. Should we go back in? The office building across the street exploded.